My name is uh, Stephen Scott Bottoms, and I'm Professor of Contemporary Theatre and Performance in the Drama Department at the University of Manchester. I'm a researcher in the traditional academic sense as a critic, a theorist and a historian of theatre and performance. But I'm also a practising theatre maker as a writer, a director and sometimes a performer. And I've kept this strand of my work going throughout my academic career. Over the last decade, I've become particularly interested in making performances that are quite localised to specific areas here in the UK, particularly in West Yorkshire. This site-specific practice has a kind of documentary function in that it seeks to reflect directly on the experiences of particular people and communities and their relationships to their local environment, especially the water environment. I've often used research interviews and exploratory conversations as a way to gather material for plays, films or storytelling pieces that can then be shared with both the community itself and with wider audiences. Now, this practical research focus on place and environment represents my own way of attempting to respond creatively to the climate crisis. I began thinking actively about climate change about 15 years ago, and I initially did so by applying ecological theory to looking at various theatre practitioners that I was interested in. But that never felt like enough. I wanted to actually immerse myself in the environment itself and, and to find ways to dramatise how it's changing and how people are dealing with those changes, such as increasing flood risk. And this has also led me to develop some quite close relationship with responsible authorities such as the Environment Agency and local councils and with voluntary bodies like rivers trusts. These interactions have taught me that the arts and humanities have a great deal to offer in confronting climate change because what we specialise in is the human and exploring feelings, perceptions, narratives and interrelationships with other humans. And it's these things that need rethinking quite urgently, I think. For instance, our whole perception of that term climate change tends to be that it's something massive and global, which of course it is, but this is also really disempowering and disconnecting for most people on an immediate everyday level. It doesn't connect readily with the environment as we perceive it day to day or as we act in it. I've also found that responsible agencies often struggle to communicate about climate resilience issues because their ex expertise is primarily technical. The people who know most about flood, managing flood risk, for instance, have not necessarily been trained in dealing with people. And that recognition has led me to my latest research project in, in which I'm going to be working for a year as an embedded researcher within the flood risk management team at Leeds City Council. I'll be working with them to explore the ways that this team interacts with each other and with other parts of the council and with the general public. And the idea is that this will function as a kind of case study in helping a flood risk team to become more self-consciously a climate resilience team that's connected with all these uh, audiences. It's widely recognised in the UK and globally that we are way behind the curve on adapting to the inevitable changes to everyday life that climate change will bring about. And one of the reasons that we've been so slow to adapt is because it's rarely anybody's specific role or job to lead on doing so. And so here I am as an embedded drama researcher asking whose role it is to act on this emergency and how. And at the end of the research, hopefully I'll make a show about it and tell a story of what happened.